what I wanted to talk about in like my new grad video. Maybe watch a video or two. Good morning everyone. It is another day here, another sunny day, another day here on day shift. I am again going to be done at 6. It is actually so nice to be able to get out at 6.30 instead of 8.30 because I was able to go to the gym. I don't know if you guys saw. I didn't really film very much but so nice to go to the gym afterwards and I had like so much energy because of the fact that I was like walking around work. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna go to dinner with my friends later at, we have a reservation at 8.15, so hopefully we can make it. Um, I do want to like shower and clean up and I already picked my outfit last night, but I did want to talk a little bit about things in general that I wish I had known when I was a new grad. So if you guys want to see that video, definitely comment down below because I was thinking of doing that one for a really long time because of the fact that it's crazy to me that I've been a nurse for two years already because the time flew by so fast. I remember being a new grad and just being like so distraught all the time and maybe it's also the fact that I'm like a little bit jaded which is sad but true. I'll give you a little bit of like a gist of like what I wanted to talk about in like my new grad video. One of the really important skills to have as a nurse is obviously IVs, especially in the ER. And once you're more acclimated to starting IVs, um, you'll learn that your flow will be a lot more efficient. So, number one, you think that it's just time, but it's not time, it's also like dexterity and just the motion, the ability to like identify which is like a good vein. Um, and I'll get more into depth of that. But there are a lot of resources out there. One of my friends suggested um, the IV guy on Instagram. I started watching his, watching his videos and I learned how to like float IVs in. So let's take for an example like you're... Um, putting in an IV but you feel like there's like um sometimes you get stuck on like an artery if you could still draw blood from that you just draw blood and then you take the um what is it the blood what is that called oh my god anyway you switch that out put a flush and while you're flushing you glide the catheter in so it makes more sense when he does it because he has a visual, but you catch the gist of what I'm saying. I also saw something on in, on TikTok where, like, if you push off a pen, it's, like, the same um, motion as when you start an IV. So, it's also a thing to consider. Um, so, just getting your IVs down is, like, such a big skill. And I thought, oh, you know, like, if I just you know with time I would get it 
but using these resources outside of the hospital is also really really important because of the fact that you're only really here three times a week so in those other four days you can easily lose it so that's also something to consider I'll talk a little bit more and probably more organized way pretty soon but so I'll pray for a good shift I'm also wearing my travel uniform because I like the pockets in this one and I felt like wearing all black today it looks like very anti Valentine's Day but that's fine yeah I was gonna stop by coffee bean because I have a gift card but I made some coffee at home Let's all pray that today is a good day. Hopefully everyone's already on their vacations. Much, much, much later. I had my broken heart, you were my biggest fear. I'll turn the light and help catch her all the way. So we got a surprise for Nikki. Let's see if she noticed. Oh, I forgot to turn on the car. Okay. Will you be surprise! our Valentine? She didn't even say it! <laughs> Shooters in there, but you dropped yeah, all you of them. Yeah, you dropped them. You ruined my makeup. I can't smile. Wait, wait, let's see. I can't smile. Do you like it's it? Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can we take a you. shot. <laughs> I'm crying. My broken heart, you were my biggest fear. everyone it is bright and sunny here it's not the best lighting I will admit today it is Thursday it's 11 a.m. I have an interview at 11 for a potential clinic job um, but I'm getting coffee bean first I dropped him off to Alex because he has quite a few things to do today so um, yeah my battery is gonna die so I just got him some other type of tea. I just got two peach jasmine cold brew teas instead because I don't know, they used to have like all these types of different teas at Coffee Bean and I really actually like them versus their coffee, but whatever, it's fine. You're the peach jasmine, right? Yes. Can I interrupt you now? Yes. Okay, you're good, I don't have to manage. Okay, cool. I swear I said large but I only got a small it's fine whatever I don't even know if Alex would like this anyway because he wanted the blood orange but I'm headed there right now I'm literally gonna get there like three minutes before 12 I'm so listening to this audiobook but I am like driving on the way here and then all of a sudden I get an email saying like can we push it back to 1 30 and I was like, whatever, dude. Honestly, it's kind of annoying that you push it back, but at least I have time to get food, so. I'm waiting for Alex to get out of class, whatever that is. And then we're gonna get food, and then I guess I'll interview at 1.30. And I wanna go to this um, movie preview thing. Apparently my friend said she's been to one of these, uh, it's called Preview Free Movies, and it's the it's like some uh, movie by Joey King in it. I don't know. Anyway, oh, insert my my one photo that I do have with Joey King when her hair was really short when she was filming the act. But um, yeah, so it's like a free movie preview, and my friend says she got like forty dollars last time she went to one of these, and it's only in Long Beach. It's not too far from my house, so we might go to that later. I don't know, it's at like six. There's Bubby. So for some context, we went on a bowling date and 
sorry my friend just texted me but we were on a bowling date and it was super fun i haven't bowled in so long but low-key my wrist still kind of hurts and i think i was either bowling the wrong way but anyway we went bowling for like two hours and it was like unlimited games and i would 10 out of 10 recommend because i would want to do it again um but in the middle of that they had texted me that i won a table at um arena in k-town so here's some clips of me and my friends um going ham at arena because we got a table for the first time Oh my god. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's a spare. That's a s- oh. Yay, almost. Ah! <laughs> Let me try again. Get us lighter balls. Can I- can I get another? the entire rest of this week um yesterday or two days ago on friday i had actually won this um table at arena in k-town it's like this club um in koreatown and i've been there before but i never actually had a table and it was free and we got like chicken tenders and we got like these if you've ever been there they have um this thing called sip boba which is like alcoholic boba it was pretty good actually like it wasn't terrible um so yeah my friends were there it was really fun it was super last minute i literally texted them that i wanted like maybe a few hours before so that was really fun except i like could not function at all yesterday so i did absolutely nothing and today i need to catch up on like literally everything um I don't know how I got to the gym yesterday, but I just sweat out all my alcohol with Alex. And then today, I think I'm going to finish editing this vlog. Um, I need to do a lot of my discussions, and I have three essays due this week. So I need to make sure to do most of that today. That way, throughout the week, because I'm working um, two day shifts and a night shift next week. So that'll be very exciting not really but i wanted to make money before we go on vacation so that's the plan i have my coffee which is literally the instant coffee from trader Joe's. i think i'm gonna buy like a cold brew because i'm really tired of this instant coffee but yeah i'm gonna also get some groceries so that i have lunch for tomorrow and then that will be today i yeah, I, I promise next week will be a better vlog. I don't know why this week I completely like fell off the grid and didn't vlog at all, which is horrible. But yeah, next week will be a better week. <laughs> 